You Are Here, Sound and Sense of Place is uh, a project that um, we're running here at the Essex Record Office as part of the Essex Sound and Video Archive. Um, so over the next few years we're going to be digitising uh, a large number of the recordings that we hold here, the historic um, archive sound recordings and videos. We will then be able to use them uh, to take them out into the community um, uh, to get people to listen to them, to engage with them and to enjoy them in a variety of different ways. Corn should die, ah poor boy that John Barley corn should die. We have been awarded £277,000 uh, by the Heritage Lottery Fund uh, which is going to allow us to move into the delivery phase of the project. They ploughed their land, they harried it well. Now that we have been awarded the funding, we will recruit a sound and video digitizer who will start on digitizing the collection and then once they're digitized we will catalogue them and put, make them available online through our online catalogue CX. Then once that has happened, we get to start doing exciting things out in the community with the recordings. Corn was dead. Ah, poor boy, the John Barley corn was dead. We'll be working with community groups who will listen to material in our archive about their communities, and then they will select samples to go on a sound montage that will be played on a sonic bench installed in their communities. We will be holding public consultations in various public venues across the county where we will be asking what sounds are important to people and what sounds of Essex should go into our archive. And then based on those results we will commission a sound recordist to make new recordings of what Essex sounds like today. We will then put those online on an audio comparison map together with historic recordings from our archive so people can compare what Essex sounded like 50 years ago to what it sounds like today. We have tried to cover all of Essex in our sonic park benches. So we have gone into every corner of the county and chosen towns and villages, a range of places. We've chosen the locations where we have large collections of material about those communities. We're still looking for volunteers from communities in about nine areas, so check our Essex Record Office blog for details. For the project we will be focusing on oral history interviews. We'll also be working with some of our music collections. We have a strong folk collection and representatives from all other types of music. The Essex Sound and Video Archive is well equipped to deal with a range of media. So we have audio cassettes and open reel tapes. Um, we have material coming in that is already digital on uh, different formats as well. And we also have video material and we'll be able to show those on interactive kiosks that will be touring the county as well. This will be a three-year project and to keep up to date with how we're doing you can check out the Essex Record Office blog. We have a project page on there and you can sign up to receive email updates. Uh, there is a link to our sign-up list on the box below. <laughs>